Sky and FM 825, the band and Ophelia, Elton John, the Tragically Hip. I'm Pat Porter. I have uh, Cody Diener waiting on the line. Big event uh, this weekend, Sunday at the Meriton Community Center at 4 o'clock. Crossfire Wrestling presents Bring the Heat 5. Hey, Cody, how you doing? Hey, Pat, how you doing? Pretty good. You got a big match coming up. Uh, this is going to be a championship match on Sunday at the Meriton Community Center. You're taking on uh, Jeremy Elliott again, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. The last time I wrestled uh, Jeremy Elliott, I had some loose change uh, in my corner. And what I mean by loose change is I had infamous Jamie Moore as my manager. And uh, every single time I wrestled Jeremy Elliott before um, with Jay Moore in my corner, Jay Moore had you know, would try to get involved and somehow cost me the match. And it took me a while to realize that I needed to get rid of Jay Moore, so I finally did. And now this is the first time I've ever wrestled Jeremy Elliott um, without Jay Moore, uh, with the fans on my side instead. And I think it's going to be quite an interesting matchup. Well, Cody, I hear that Jay Moore is going to be there on Sunday anyway. So, uh, you know, it's going to be, he's going to be like a, a pesky little fly that you're swatting at all the time. That's what he's been the entire time, you know, ever since he got into Crossfire Wrestling, and that's how uh, the fans view him. Um, pesky little fly is maybe a, a good way of describing him. I w- I'd like to see all the Crossfire Wrestling fans bring fly swatters, and anytime Jay Moore got in their face, they could all smack him across the face with them. I think that would be a good idea for a single Crossfire Wrestling fan. Especially the VIPs that are in the front row. Oh, that, that's a good idea, Cody. Yeah, I, th- <laughs> I think the fans should all show up with fly swatters and just take a whack at them. I know he's got a Absolutely. different outfit every time he shows up. Well, <laughs> you you are the uh, Border City Wrestling Champion, Rock Solid Wrestling Champion, Magnificent Championship Wrestling Champion, and you hold the... Uh, Right now, the world championship for Crossfire Wrestling as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've um, been wrestling for uh, 16 years now, and um, I've been wrestled all over Canada, the United States, and I've been lucky enough to be wrestling for those four companies that you mentioned for a number of years now. I'm a proud champion in all those all those promotions. It's it's really meaningful when the management of a wrestling company kind of has faith in you to put you put you in main event matches and and put you in title matches to give you those opportunities to win the belt. It's kind of humbling, especially mm-hmm. considering I uh, considering I, I've held those belts in all four companies. It's, it's 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 pretty cool. Well, Jeremy Elliott is a pretty good challenger. I think you might have a, a you know a tough bout to taking on Jeremy Elliott, but. Uh, We'll see what happens on Sunday, 4 o'clock. Yeah, I mean, Jeremy Elliott never lost the title. Um, and that, that's kind of the, the thing that he reminded me of at the last show to, to give me um, reason to give him a shot. Uh, he never he never lost the Crossfire Championship. It, it got vacated because Jeremy Elliott, um, after fighting for it for, for many years, finally won it. But because of some health health reasons and personal reasons, he had to forfeit the title. So he never actually got pinned. So when he walks around and claims to be, you know, the tr- a true Crossfire Wrestling champion, I can't really dispute that. If I'm going to walk around with the Crossfire title, claim to be the fighting champion, and I know I am, I got to give him a shot. Um, and not only that, I'm not sure if you're aware of this, Pat. There's also another wrestler walking around calling himself the real champion, and that's that's Tyler Turva. I wrestled him at the last show, and there was a controversial finish with both of our. It looked like both of our shoulders were pinned to the mat, and now Tyler Turv has been uh, yapping his mouth and saying that he's the real champion. So I don't know what he's got up his sleeve for this Sunday. Uh, him walking around and claiming he's the real champion. I mean, man, you got three guys: myself, Jeremy Allen, and Tyler Turv, all. Um, making cases for the fact that we're the real champ. It's going to be really interesting on Sunday. Oh, Cody, you got to watch your back because uh, not only those uh, characters, but uh, the infamous Jay Moore is going to be chasing you around the ring as well. So, <laughs> yeah, man. I mean, I've had my hands full since I, since I won that belt, and uh, I put up a, a, a fight every single time uh, I'm in a Crossfire Wrestling ring to keep that belt. And I'm going to be doing that on Sunday for sure. All right. Well, we're going to be down there to cheer you on. 4 o'clock Sunday, bell time. Meriton Community Center in St. Catharines. Cody Diener and Jeremy Elliott, Crossfire Wrestling. Hey, Cody, thanks for talking to us tonight. Thanks, Pat. Celebrate five years of Crossfire Wrestling. July 24th, 4 p.m. at the Meriton Community Center. The five-year anniversary show, Bring the Heat 5. VIP tickets are sold out. 
General admission still available, $15 or two for $25, and there's never a bad seat in the house. For tickets, call 905-329-2693 or visit www.crossfirewrestling.com. Five years of Canada's best independent pro wrestling, Crossfire Wrestling. Sunday, July 24th, 4 p.m. at the Meriden Community Center.